Kung Fu Panda, Poe's Crash Course. Poe couldn't believe it. Master Ugwe chose him to be the Dragon Warrior. He would save the Valley of Peace with his Kung Fu moves. Woohoo! I'm the guy! Poe said happily. The big awkward panda was ready to begin his training. He entered the Jade Palace. It was just as amazing inside as he'd always imagined. Check it out, said Poe. The Trident of Destiny and the Urn of Whispering Warriors. Then someone came in. Poe recognized him right away. Master Shifu, he said in awe. Shifu was the trainer of the Furious Five. They were the greatest Kung Fu warriors in the Valley of Peace. Po was so surprised to see Shifu that he bumped into the urn. Crash! Do you have some glue? Po asked Shifu sheepishly. Shifu couldn't believe it. How could Ugwe expect him to train this pudgy, clumsy panda? Ugwe may have picked you, Shifu said to Po. But when I'm through with you, you're going to wish he hadn't. Po didn't like the sound of that. But he was not going to be scared off. He was the Dragon Warrior. Po followed Shifu to the training room. The five were practicing their moves. Po decided to show them some of his own moves. Pow! He hit the training dummy. Oof! The dummy hit him back. Po kept trying his best. He stumbled through the obstacle course. A spiky ball sent him flying. He stumbled through a wooden maze, then found himself dancing around to avoid shooting flames. Kung Fu was harder than he thought. That night, Po went into the warrior's bunkhouse. He was tired from the long day of training to be the Dragon Warrior. He tried to be quiet and not disturb the five, but the floor broke under him. Crack! He woke up Crane. I'm a fan of yours, Poe told Crane. You guys were awesome at the Battle of Weeping River. Thanks, Crane said with a yawn. You were outnumbered a thousand to one, Poe said in awe. He did a kick like one of Crane's. His foot went through the wall. Sorry about that, he said. Then Poe woke up Tigress. She gave him an angry look. How could Ugwe choose this goofy panda as the dragon warrior? You don't belong here, she growled at Po. You are a disgrace to Kung Fu. In the morning, Shifu and the five gathered outside the training hall. There was no sign of Po. Had he already given up? No way. Po was inside training. There was just one problem. He had tried a tough Kung Fu pose. And now, he was stuck. The five saw that Po would keep trying to master Kung Fu. They decided to help him train. At first, he didn't do very well. Po couldn't break the board that Monkey held up. So the others all helped him. At last, he broke the board. With his face. The five were impressed with Po's progress. That night, they found him in the kitchen making soup. At first, Po didn't want to let them taste the soup. But they used their kung fu moves to get the bowl away from him. The soup was fantastic. It seemed the bumbling panda had some hidden talents after all. Maybe that meant that Ugwe knew exactly what he was doing when he named Po the Dragon Warrior. The End